Yo guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks, and today I have a brand new sneaker pickup for you guys. Now this is Black Friday, like part four or something like that. Uh, these finally came in. It took really a long time. Today's December, what, I think 8th or 9th. And uh, these I ordered on Black Friday. So at finish line, we had 25% off select sale items, plus our employee 30%. So I was able to order these for a really good price. I think it was like $60 shipped. There's just a lot of issues and then the shipping uh, with the holiday stuff, it just took a while. As you can see right here, I have an orange Nike box and then the label right there reads Nike Flyknit Racer. And I got these in the triple black colorway. So you guys saw I picked up the white pair from Hibbit Sports. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have them anymore at finish line, so I wasn't able to order them through us. Uh, but these we still had. So here they are, it's the Flyknit Racer in the triple black colorway. Now, I know a lot of people have already done videos on this shoe, uh, but you know, it was just a simple colorway, a nice model, and it was cheap, so I just picked it up. So yeah, regular retail on a Flying Eraser is $150. Uh, I was able to pick it up for, I think it was $60 ship, so uh, almost $100 off, and just the colorway is all black. You can't really go wrong with that. I can wear it on days where I just know I'm going to be outside, uh, kind of get them messed up, and nothing's really going to show. So. Uh, just really excited I was able to pick these up alongside the white ones which I know I can wear like in the spring and summertime uh, and kind of just throw them on as a whatever shoe. Now in that midnight or whatever it was the Nike Lab Flying Eraser dropped with the cream bottom. I really wanted those and they sold out super super quick and there's resale on them and I just I can't really bring myself to pay resale for a Flying Eraser anymore. Uh, so these for 60 bucks it was pretty much a no-brainer. So everybody kind of knows the Flying Eraser, pretty much everything on it. Super lightweight, very comfortable. Uh, the only thing about racers for me is they run pretty narrow. So I usually get a 12 and I ended up getting 11 and a half in the white and black ones and they fit me fine. So uh, I don't know what it was before. I was pretty convinced I had to get a 12 in these because 11 and a half fits pretty good. Yeah, the main selling point on this was just the all black upper, uh, the all black bottom and outsole. There really isn't any other hit on there. Uh, but I will say this black is more like a dark gray that's speckled in uh, within the black because you can definitely see the swoosh which is a pure black and then you kind of get like some other colors weaved in like a light gray, dark gray, uh, and black. So it's a few different colors to kind of give it like a little offset tone to it. You get your 3M hits in the back right there. And I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a really simple sneaker to show you guys. Yeah, I just wanted to share this pickup with you guys. This is, like I said, Black Friday part four or five, something like that. Uh, it was just a really good deal I couldn't pass up and it just kind of took a while, but I actually got the video to come out uh, as soon as I got them. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. $60 shipped for a Flyknit Racer, just a triple black colorway. Uh, I sold my triple black Ultra Boost, the 1.0, so I didn't have any triple black shoes besides my Vapor Max. Uh, so I figured this one would just be another good one to throw in the rotation. But that is going to be it for this one, guys. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys next time.